we're going to do a agree or disagree fantasy booking bad blood edition. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I have five matches and out of these five matches, I'm going to basic, basically giving a pitch to ever to see if my matches is worth being on the card. I'm hoping just to be able to be like, here's the match and forever to just be like, Hey, I agree. Boom. Like it. I don't even have to hear the story. The match itself is money. That's what I'm trying to go for. And obviously if ever does not like the match, then I have to pitch them the story of what I'm trying to go for and also the outcome. And then also maybe I have to throw in a gimmick match, you know, like a steel cage match, hardcore steel, you know, yeah, hardcore rules, something. The job is to convince ever to agree to have these matches on the premium live event. And well, Let's get started. I got the World Heavyweight Championship. Now hear me up on hear me out on this one. Randy Orton is walking in World Heavyweight Champion and he's facing Gunther. So this is a rematch. So in my old in the fantasy booking, Bash in Berlin, uh Randy Orton takes the title away for Gunther and you know, now at Bad Blood Randy Orton is champion, and Gunther, I am going to have Gunther take the title away from Randy Orton. Hmm. Would you agree or disagree on this one? I would agree uh, to Ooh. it, because I think it feels like this is going to be a back and forth, and Orton gets his, what, 15th title? 14th or 15th? Well, yeah, he'll, well, he'll be walking in as the 15-time world champion, but he'll be dropping the title back to Gunther, and I feel like dropping the title back to Gunther will be more of an impact because when mm -hmm. Drew McIntyre defeated Randy Orton during his feud, it didn't really do anything until Randy Orton took the title away from Drew McIntyre at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view and drop it back to Drew. Even though it was on Monday Night Raw, that match and that win was more of an impact and that's what made Drew McIntyre to be a main event player. And I feel like that would happen to Gunther. So Gunther defeating Randy Orton just to retain his title. Eh. But to beat Randy Orton and winning back his world title, that's going to cement his legacy. Yeah. Because then, no offense to Damian Priest, but it's like he beat Damian Priest, but if he beats Orton, that's like you said, like, it's like, oh, here you go. Oh, here's a passing of the torch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically. So I so the you would say agree on this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. My second match, I'm gonna go with Roman Reigns teaming up. Hear me out. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes Ooh. versus Solo and Jacob Fat Two. Agree or disagree? Oh, I definitely agree. I'm very excited about this one. Uh just, ah, especially like yes. a pay per view called Bad Blood. Come on, there there's, you no, go. there's no other match you could have that and you have Jacob Fought too in the ring with like like Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. Man, I'll pay it, every single night for that. I'll pay no. every time. <laughs> Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, that's like the rock and Stoke Cold Steve Austin teaming up. You know? Yeah. Who, well, who would you have it going over? Like who we who we put who are we booking for winning? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh and how, solo gets solo, solo and Jacob. Solo and okay. Jacob. Uh, I will have them get the W, and I will say, hear me out, Tonga, Tonga Loga, Tonga Loga, right? The the one at Botches or the other one? The the good looking one, the one with the body. The Tamataga. Tamag Tonga. I would have him interfere and screw Roman Reigns, Ooh. and uh, <laughs> oh. have Sol and then have Solo. Uh, Use the Samoan spike on Roman Reigns so he could get the W. So you're saying so solo pins Roman? Yes. Wow, that yeah. was gonna be like a what? Like everybody's gonna <laughs> be upset about that. that, that you that's... got who? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get this match on the card. You know, so it, agree or disagree? Oh, I agree. It's definitely gonna make this people like it's gonna piss people off, but at the same time, it gives Solo a legitimate like head of the table kind of thing. Like, he's actually going to be the yeah. head of the bloodline. Because you, you got to, like, I think even Tribal Warfare, you used to have to beat the 
the the the main man, the high chief, to become yeah. the chief. You know, if you don't beat him, it's like you're just like a pretender at the throne. You know, that's how you people, build. It gets that's so how you more legitimacy. War. Yeah, yeah, and then next you, you know, the like war. whatever paper you use after that, that's where you get more and more in depth. So I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually, yeah, I do, I do agree with that because Solo needs something because right now it's like he's like there, he's the leader of the bloodline, but he's not like I've been beating the old previous bloodline, you know, leader. Right. Like that's how you gotta, you know, tribal warfare, pretty much. Yeah, that's what day. I'm trying to go for. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So I got another one right here. This one is mm -hmm. a six make. A six mixed tag team match. So I got okay. Judgment Day, Finn Balor, Liv Morgan, and Dirty Dominic, right? Ooh. Versus Rhea Ripley, da uh, Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, and Jay Uso. Ooh, Agree or disagree okay. on this one? And who I'm going to have over is clearly Judgment Day on this one. Wow. I, you got I mean, to. I, you got to. I would to. agree because the storyline, the way it's going, yeah, I would say. Well, who pins who though? You said Judgment Day wins, but who wins in Judgment Day? I would say Dirty Dominic cover mm. Jay Uso. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. I would only do that. Yeah, I agree with that because like yeah. Dom would get the biggest boost, even more boost than ever. He would be booed like, like out of the building. Yeah, like X Pac heat. Especially against J Jay Uso, man, I agree with that. You'll definitely make him a more heel. And he's the, already a heel. Like, he's gonna be double heel, triple heel. What does that mean? You know, the way I would do it is kind of like have uh, Jay Uso and Rhea Ripley having a moment in the ring, and then Dominic pushes Jay into Rhea Ripley, and then Schoolboy roll up one, two, three. Oh, so it's like screwing over Rhea because you you got her injured. Or yeah, because you, you, like... you shoved you shoved you you shoved somebody in onto Rhea Ripley. So that's yeah. like disrespectful as hell. Yeah, that's your mommy. You're like, oh, I'm just yeah. gonna get rid of I'm former just mommy. Former yeah. mommy. Wow. Right. And Dominic gets yeah, I could see that. That'd be cool. and then the schoolboy of all things, not even like a frog. Spider. And and you hold the more, tights. It pulls the pants. Oh yeah, dude, yeah. hold the tights. He Woo! would get booed until infinity. <laughs> <laughs> so am I going? To, am I going to get another agree for this one to be on the card? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Woo! So I got. I see the finishes. Three. I like the finishes. Yeah. I got three back to back. So I got a basic fourth match right here. It's a basic one. Austin Theory versus Grayson Waller. Walker. Waller. Waller. What the Waller. Hell? Waller. Uh, obviously the buildup is. Um, I would not have Grayson turn on Austin. It's Austin Theory turning face on mm -hmm. Grayson Waller just so he finally caught on like I'm not an idiot I'm not a moron I know what you're trying to do you're trying to screw me try to do that at Matt Hardy and MVP friendly competition where it's like yeah bro I don't trust you I know what you're doing mm -hmm. but I'm going along with it whatever that's what I'm trying to go for. And but obviously I would push Austin Theory to be the biggest baby face ever. You know, I would give him that underdog story where it's like, mm -hmm. I tried to be that dirty heel. It didn't work out for me. I'm gonna be the the started from the bottom now. I'm here kind of guy. That's yeah. what I'm trying to go for, basically. Start all over, try to find uh Austin Theory. He's a great worker, he has a great look, he just does not have it. He had the it yeah. with the selfie and all that stuff, but that was just a you know the trend at the time. Yeah, because huh. clearly how that worked out for Tyler Breeze. True. <laughs> yeah, we're going off. Um, this is the first time I actually say disagree with you. Ooh, I, I will not put this match on the on the main card. I'll probably Damn. say this for like SmackDown. I don't think it's a worthy of enough feud or a, a like two like you said Austin Theory. And a Waller to war guarantee like a pay per view spot, okay. maybe maybe like maybe at the Rumble or something. But you would get hold think... on. You would not give them a opportunity at a Bad Blood Premium Live event, but you think they deserve a one on one match at the Royal Rumble? Not one on one. It just it um. Remember how like Royal Rumble? You're not friends. Like you're everybody's your enemy at some point. The match. That, that's, that's, that's it. That's where that's where Waller throws 
theory out and that's where the feud starts for next year but right now mm. it feels like it wouldn't be worthy for a pay-per-view match yet like it teases it they're teasing it every week right but i don't think they should pull the trigger yet it's too early okay. especially uh bad blood but i was so you're saying the feud for... is too early basically yeah like get let it build let it simmer and then at the rumble that's where he's uh waller okay. screws over theory like he throws him out of the the royal rumble match like hey we're team and then he just throws him out he's like now nah, we're feuding to a like you know backlash or whatever so it's not so that. much of a disagree it's it is a disagree because it's not going to be on the paper uh, the premium live event but it's yeah. more a on a let's put it on a draft yeah like we'll okay. draft it and then we'll later draft on. it because it's later it's more of a later not right now yeah that's it's cool just too early it's only been a couple will a few weeks yeah I'm only, yeah i don't think it's as should, long I mean, as i'm that's... able yeah as long as it's in the draft because in the draft means we're gonna use it just not right now where yeah. if it's a full disagree where it's like it's not even like no bro <laughs> throw it in yeah. the bin it's like yeah. damn ouch i know there's gonna be a day when that happens yeah. but not not today <laughs> Not today. Not, Not nope. today. Here's the main event, the final match on the card. Here, I hope you like this one. Okay. It's going to be a Hell in a Cell match. Okay. Between CM Punk Ooh. versus Drew McIntyre. Hear me out on this one. Mm -hmm. You got to need... you. How are you going to have a special guest referee for the SummerSlam match, right? But you ain't going to have a special guest referee in the Hell in a Cell? No. Uh-uh-uh. You... You got to have a special guest referee inside Hell in a Cell. And the only person who could do that is none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ooh. Agree or disagree? Or do you need to hear more of this feud? I mean, the feud itself, you sh it's already self-explained. You know, it's CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. You know, the feud continues. I would agree. I would agree because the fact that the first Hell in a Cell took place at Bad Blood, so it's kind of oh. like this. His, for me, a, 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 I'm a history major. That was my major. For right. me, I think like, ooh, we were going back to where we're doing a Hell in a Cell match, which you know was the first Hell in a Cell match started at Bad Blood. Yeah. So I think that definitely. But Stone Cold, why Stone Cold though? Like Who else? what? What brings? But what, what? What brings them in? Like like he's not gonna wrestle. Like why? Why well, Stone no, Cold? Yeah. Why not like? Why it's, not like um exactly you're you're hesitating right now on who else could it be? Yeah, you know, I I would would I say Shawn Michaels? I, I, I don't have no I got no problem to say Shawn Michaels, but no, not really. Could to be in the middle of between those two men, no. Stone Cold Steve yeah. Austin is the only person who could be between CM Punk. And Drew McIntyre inside Hell in a Cell. No disrespect with Mick Foley. He can't do it no more. Triple H can't do it no more. John, I mean, would John Cena could do it, but would he do it? Mm. You know, that's... Because for Stone Cold, I think he said he'll come back on special occasions. I'll probably, I would save him for WrestleMania. I wouldn't save him for Bad Blood. No offense to Bad Blood. Bro. But I wouldn't I... put him at a Bad Blood. Period. I would put him like at one of what? the big four, you know? Yeah, big. I mean, yeah, like... but how, well, hold on, hold on. But how that worked out for Stone Cold Steve? But here's the thing: Stone Cold Steve Austin, his last match at WrestleMania. Let's but let's, let's get rid of the Vince McMahon, right? Yeah, like that. That one doesn't count. But yeah. his, his <laughs> last match was against Kevin Owens. So yeah. let's. I would rather remember his WrestleMania as his last match ever instead of bringing him back for a special guest referee because. How that work out when he ref uh, Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler? Wow, yeah, that's you know what I mean. <laughs> How that work out when he ref Goldberg and uh, Brock Lesnar? Lesnar, yeah, mm. you know what I mean. So Stone Cold Steve Austin, yes, him being a special guest referee at WrestleMania does draw a lot of attention, but he also ref the uh, Vince McMahon, Bobby Lashley, the Umaga, yeah. His his record is not the best. You yeah. have to at least agree on that one. So again, Stone Cold Steve Austin for this match. Yeah, I would love. I I wish I could say the Undertaker, but let's be. I'm trying to be more realistic. Yeah. And the realistic guy is Stone Cold Steve Austin. And again, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
you know? Yeah, because I, I don't know, because I don't think I would, I would say, I wouldn't even use them, but just let the, just let he wouldn't, re- he, and- yeah, he's just a referee. He's not going to wrestle. It's no buildup. He's not, he's not there for a buildup. He's just there to, obviously, to sell tickets. And also, it's yeah. like, how are you going to have a special guest referee for SummerSlam? Again, a, a one-on-one match, a singles match. But yet, in the Hell in a Cell match, you're not going to, you're just going to have a regular referee. Because yeah, I well, I think because you don't want to use it too much. If we go back to back events, or uh, you know, or well, it's gonna be a little space in between. Yeah, be there, like, there's the space, they, they, but it's still like there's another special guest referee match. You know, like let's just make keep it a hell in a cell. Let them duke it out regularly without a special guest. You know, it's like we already did that at SummerSlam. Why do we have to do it again? A special guest referee match. So well, you, so I mean, you agree. So you agree on the match, just not and the the special guest referee then. Yeah, I'll still keep the hell in a cell because that's how you know it's they're they're it's a bluff bluff feud, you know, they're hating each other. And hell in a cell is the perfect place. Obviously, well, not- you well here, regardless. Well, like I said, the reason why I uh Stone Cold Steve Austin is because the Celtics and also um uh, what's it called? Who else can it be to ref this match? And obviously it's hell in a cell, and also it's yeah. like how are you gonna have a special guest referee for a singles match? But yet, yeah. not in the Hell in a Cell. And more importantly, you don't want, regardless who wins, obviously I'll have Drew McIntyre win the war. Okay. CM Punk. Uh, but after that match, you're telling me you don't want to see CM Punk, or uh, sorry, Stone Cold Steve Austin stun Drew McIntyre and stun CM Punk afterwards? I mean, that'd be awesome. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I'd be kind of, the special guest referee thing, it just throw me off. Like, like, I don't what if what, okay? What if a spe- what if uh, a guest enforcer instead of a special guest referee? I'm guessing uh, maybe if, if it was like, or what if there was a regular match and all of a sudden referee gets knocked out and then Stoko comes out, his music hits and he's a special guest referee. But that's just that's going back to why is he there then? Yeah, that's true. You're better off it's... either just having him as a special guest referee, so that way in the end of the show he could stun everybody, or don't have him on the show. I don't Regardless, I don't you agreed on the, on the match. Yeah, I would save him for like a Texas show, whatever that is, like an next Texas pay per view to be home. You know, hey, you just don't. All right, well, uh, <laughs> so so this one is a uh, so final decision. Agree on the match, just take away Stone Cold Steve, no special guest referee then. Right. All right, that's fine. So what? I got one, two, three, four. I got four agree and then one disagree. Well, you disagree. Yeah. 1.5. Them, but yeah, 1.5. Yeah, 1.5 <laughs> in a way if you really want to or think half about of it. it. Yeah, half of yeah. it. Yeah. So, hey, that's still not bad for the first time. Disagree uh, or disagree fantasy booking for bad blood. All right. Now, let's go back to the... Our- podcast.